Hey guys, JC6 here, back at you with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Let's see. Uh, let's see what Phoenix has to say. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Wait a second, did I align this prop properly? Oh. The statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Fortunately, I don't have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. I won't be anyone's accomplice if there was nothing in it for me. Nothing in it for you? Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. Uh, sister, was it? If you think I feel sorry for her, you better think again. You're right, you don't feel sorry for anyone. Be tough on crime and tough on people, that's how I was raised. You seem to be latching up on yourself, though. And that's a good one, Worthy. Is that been something in it for me? Point out a confidence. Benefits you, you might decide to assist someone. Here's your positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean. Very well, I ask. Who is this person you believe Chief Gamman has helped forge evidence? We prosecute Lionel Sky the defendant? I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. The one that helped her more than her own sister, Lana. As for Chief Dan, he will also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self profit. Self profit, what do you mean? After the SO9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor at the prosecutor's office. Quickly arranged his job change with you, Chief Dan. But how will we profit from all this? He will be used to chief prosecutor as a puppet. Essentially, he will acquire and check authority over all investigations. But despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? Oh wait, you mean we, we must mean puppet as in for someone forced to do? Admit it, Chief. He assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. The moral motive to appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you can control her. Right to my boy, you have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. Do you have any proof of this? That I control Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? She's keeping quiet to protect them, but there's no way she testified against Stan. I'm afraid without any proof there's almost nothing more than mere conjecture. That is also what happened in this incident. Which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about more than Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if is someone was constrained has been controlling her. Boy, did you better watch your tongue. I don't want you to get hurt. What means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gann is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. But Chief is now making him out take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? Order, order, order. I said order. So right, you, you can't be serious. This is a point to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency. He is the police chief of police of blackmail and murder. That's impossible. Uh, 
Constantly reiterating what Mr. H was saying, easier to understand language. Too late, Mr. Wright. There's no turning back for us now. It looks like he's the one who decided to go through with this. Can you prove this, Mr. Wright, that the chief or high ranking officer of the law is involved in the murder? Guards so his rank or title, Chief Dan is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. Show us the evidence that ties Chief Dan to the murder of the case of Goodman. Uh, let's see, uh, oh, this one, the screwdriver, which is, is tossing out things to cars of the, I have a toss on the shoe, the shoe should be another check it at you, always oh, require the joker, oops. Looks like I got it wrong. I was horrible with all that's going on during this trial. I'm trying to think back to what happened in the evidence room four days ago. Oh, okay. I, I know what to present. The ID card record. This is the ID card list. It's the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There's one ID on the list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my car number. It's your number. The save and chief dance officer requires the code to open. Seven digit code. Seven digits, you don't mean. I'm afraid so, Your Honor. Your code was 777777. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. She can't. The evidence. Oh, shoot, he's pissed now. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Order, order, Chief Dan, what do you have to say? Nothing. Defense search of my office was in violation of regulation. And I would demand Mr. Wright punch the maximum extent of the law. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you about the use of this ID card. Chief Gans, so are you admitted? You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? With that, I'm chief of police. Where is the evidence room with the bathroom? What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me, when you entered the room, were you alone? I always go to the bathroom. Alone, as I do with the evidence room. Take the good Guma would have happened to be with you that day, would he? Of course not. Why would he be? I see him in days. I see him in days. She can't. I'm afraid you've undone yourself. On that day, you had to have been with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? The child's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. The child's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Dan met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? I have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the chief victim went to meet Chief Dan on the day of the crime. I guess the, the, the detective Kuma had to go see Chief Dan. Poor is waiting. Oh shoot, I only got two lives left. Damn.
Oh man. Let's see. Please change the blood from Kume Light of Sky. Meet me, Chief Dan on the day of the crime. Let's see. Okay, I know it's not SL9 files. I know it's not the security video. I'm gonna have to say it's probably I'm gonna have to say it's probably the screwdriver. Oh man. Uh, uh, I'm really not sure. Uh, I think Let's see, I guess. I have a security video. Oh man, I got a game over. Are you serious? Oh man, I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Got a game over? Well, let's see. Um, let's see. I, I, I'm just gonna hurry up and get back to where we last, where we last were. Let's see. Ask me to give this to you. Evidence law agent was talking about this the other day. I'm sure you know the tools of evidence law, don't you? I'm gonna have to look this up after this episode. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. Well, I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Now that shit I'm really caused the man's death and now you're telling me? She merely stuck the knife into his dead body. And we're going to expose him. Now we can be for the time this last guy is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Thank you for the news, Your Honor.
which isn't easy to say, you see, it's some concern that Mr. Edward may have struck a bargain. Everyone has been talking. I have a solution. In the case, the prosecutor will allow the defense to call forth all for the witnesses. Okay, guys, I'll stop it right here. Take care, everybody. I will see you guys next time.